bees are life. Uh, the interaction that we have with nature, they are interacting with nature also. Um, so our interactions with them are connecting us with that nature, um, breaking down that false binary that exists in today's culture where to connect with nature through, through bees and through our food. And they are interacting with our food on such an intimate level. And so we get that intimacy when we interact with them. My name is Patrick Harrison. I'm the owner, operator of Harvey Beekeeping here in Northern New Jersey. Keep about 200 colonies of bees here in Sussex County, where we're producing, producing honey and beeswax. The best way that I think a beekeeper like helps the bee population is, is by keeping their bees alive. Um, you know, working with best practices for that varroa mite. Um, so with our 200 colonies, um, we're constantly monitoring them. In Swedish, to translate the word for the insect that is the queen um, would actually be translated into uh, to be mother. Because she's really just like the mother of the colony as opposed to the ruler of the colony. She's kind of like the egg laying machine. She's the ovaries of the hive. Um, the individual colony itself, the 20,000 to 60,000 bees that are in those boxes, that's the individual. So it's the super organism with one queen laying eggs as kind of a, um, just a facilitator, the way that a, a heart is extremely important to a person, but it's just one organ. Um, it doesn't operate without the brain. It doesn't operate without the liver or the kidneys. So it's one part um, of all that. So we got our queen, um, piece of paper just to keep her from <laughs> getting out. And then um, we're gonna switch her with the queen from another hive over there that's not managing their their disease as well. Um, so, because this queen is hopefully a little bit better at dealing with those diseases than that one over there that isn't handling their disease. So, yeah. Cool. What we're doing is we're going to Sweetleaf Farm. Um, Sweetleaf is a hydroponic farm and other crops. Um, we keep about 10 colonies on their land. Uh, about a week ago, I found a colony that had some some disease. So we're gonna be going into that colony, finding the queen, and replacing her with the queen that we just collected. And uh, this will give the that hive a better chance of managing those those diseases. So certainly there's a threat um, in the way of different pests and diseases while we have a global economy. You know, we have to look at not just the pests and diseases that we have here in North America, but also the ones that might show up from other countries. Uh, something right now called the Varroa mite, it's a deer tick-like pest that affects the honeybee, uh, much like deer ticks. It also spreads and transmits all kinds of viruses. and. Um, that's like the bane of my existence um, and we get rid of those <laughs> we can't beekeeping is easy you're going forward um, what I'd like to do with this beekeeping business is to take those 200 colonies and really make it a, a breeding program to do so we're gonna, I need a space, a, a real space of my own um, to, out of which we can, I can make 10 year investments, 50 year investments. And so uh, a honey processing facility, we're launching a Kickstarter to uh, raise funds for that facility. And then, you know, with that facility, really go into the research end of keeping bees to do some research on New Jersey beekeeper keeping against my own colonies and talk about that to other beekeepers um, while also bringing in the non-beekeepers.